Okay, so again, Derek Rebjorn from Megadeth. Hello, everybody. I'm going to um, give you a quick rundown of my drum kit. Um, so I've been uh, a Tama and Dorsey since 1995. Very proud to be playing Tama drums. Uh, the kit I currently use is a Tama Star Classic Maple kit, um, which obviously uh, I have some uh, customized version for Megadeth, but this is also a matte black kit, just like the one I use with Megadeth. Um, I have 22-inch kick, kick drums. The toms are 10, 12, 13, 16, and 18 inch toms. Uh, the snare drum uh, is uh, my signature snare, which is a, a Tama SLP Dynamic Bronze 5.5 by 14. Uh, great, great snare drum, I love it. And then um, uh, all my hardware is Tama as well, uh, including the Speed Cobra 910 double pedals, my favorites. I uh, really love those. Um, and um, then I will move on to the symbols now, oh yeah, I also have Tama sticks, uh, Tama signature, uh, Megadeth <laughs> sticks. And then um, symbols, uh, I've been with Meinl for many years as well, I believe since 2005. And uh, I currently use the um, mostly the Classics Custom Dark Series, for, which is for all the crashes, um, the secondary hi-hat, as well as the secondary China. And, um, and these are all, as you can see, customized as well with a uh, with big rattlehead on there. Um, I love these because they have a little bit less um, sustain than, for example, the Bisons or MB20, which I used to play, which is really perfect for a live setting with the kind of music that we play. Um, I also use um, a few Bison symbols still because it's, it's one of the best series around. So I have the 22-inch heavy hammer drive uh, Bisons, which is, which is absolutely amazing. I have an 18-inch uh, China over here, also killer, and the splashes as well as the main hi-hat or Bisons as well. Um, great stuff. I love the vinyl stuff. It's absolutely amazing. Um, then, uh, let's see, what else do we have? I have to think. Oh, yes, Evans, of course, Evans Drumheads. I've uh, been with them for quite a few years as well now, and I think they really complement the sound of the kit perfectly. Um, we have um, EC2 on the toms, SST. So these are mostly for live. In the studio, I tend to use thinner heads. So usually G1 or G2, depending on the situation. But for live, these the thicker heads, the double ply heads are really good. Uh, then on the snare, I tend to use either ST dry or HG dry. Uh, nice solid hit, perfect with, with this snare drum, giving it a lot of sustain and warmth, but also a lot of attack as well. And then on the kicks, um, I usually have the EQ3 these days. I had GMAT for a long time, but I switched to EQ3 recently and really like those. Again, a little bit more open sound since to adapt to the drumming of Megadeth, which is a little bit more open and a little bit less busy a lot of times than, than what I did in Solar before. So uh, this fits perfectly. Um, let's see, other than that, um, I, I'm also a Roland Indoor C and I use the uh, SPDSX uh, sampling pad which you can see here, which I use on clinics to launch my tracks. It's a new acquisition, but it's really great. I'm really enjoying working with it. It's easy to work with. I also use uh, Roland V drums at home for practicing, rehearsing, some recording, etc. cetera. Um, and then um, uh, what else? I have JH Audio in-ears. Um, I have DB drum shoes and um, Warren Star clothing, and I think that's about it. And I also work a lot with Track, the Swedish company, for drum samples, so I use that in conjunction with, with the Roland stuff. Especially, this, again, this is more in my home studio because live I don't trigger really anything, so it's all kind of natural sounds. Sometimes we will use um, a safety trigger on the bass drum just, you know, in case we need it, we have it ready, because some venues sometimes can get tricky, and this is mostly for the stage sound. Um, usually the front of house engineer and I don't need it, so it's more like a a safety thing. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for my gear. Cheers. <laughs>